So to kind of help you understand the roadmap of what we're going to go through the, in the next two days from a product perspective, I, I, I put a few slides. Uh, I'm a very visual person, so it helps me. So as we said, the first half of, the, of today, we're going to focus on a solution that enables you to test mobile applications. Um, and basically answer the question, if I have a mobile app and I got to roll it out um, countrywide or globally, how do I know when a user in Chicago on AT&T on 3G is going to experience the application? What type of response time is he going to get? Well, I'm in a lab in the middle of a data center. I don't have a way to bring Chicago into the lab. Well, that's what this product does. So we'll, we'll understand how, you know, by setting this up, we can create this scenario of I want to be a 3G user in Chicago on AT&T and what happens when the connection is good and what happens when the connection is bad and when does the product break and why. The second half of the day, as we mentioned, still within the same environment, there's a small but very important piece of the technology that basically helps answer the question, okay, I ran this, this test, I pretended I'm a 3G user in Chicago on AT&T and logging in took 40 seconds. Why? What the hell is the app doing for 40 seconds that uh, under 3G conditions and what can I do about it? So we'll spend some time on the analytics. And then on the second day, we'll ask the question, OK, we looked at a single user under 3G conditions, AT&T in Chicago. Now what happens when 10,000 users access the mobile app? And what is it going to do to my back end? What is it going to do to the end user experience when all these users are hitting the, the mobile app? And then we'll spend some time on, on, on best practices, as I mentioned. So. What's really interesting when you start thinking about the interaction between applications and the networks, you find out that you know, every organization has a different um, deployment scenario. And each one of those deployment scenarios requires a different way of setting up the testing. And we've developed best practices to support that. 